Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're doing a very special costume look based on the movie, A Wrinkle in Time. I remember reading this book as a kid and now it's been adapted into a feature film that comes out tomorrow. So without getting into the plot, no spoilers here. Today's makeup look is based on Reese Witherspoon's portrayal of Mrs. What's It, and this makeup was designed by the incredible Lalette Little John. Mrs. What's It is one of the three celestial guides that take the main character, Meg, on a journey through the fabric wrinkle of time. It's science fiction. It, there's, it could be complicated. We're not going to get into it, but we are going to get into this makeup look today. So if you do want to see how I put this together, just hang out. I look a little bit like Dracula, <gasps> but whatevs. Foundation contour is already on, but we're going to do brows next. So the brows on her face are a little more round than mine, but I'm just going to round mine out. So I'm going to first go through with these um, 3D brow tones. So I'm just getting a, a starting point for this shape. Then I'm gonna go in with my dip brow pommy, per the use, but just uh, make a little more round of, rounder of a shape. So the goal is for these to be a little more natural than my shape. I mean, I think my brows are pretty natural, but these ones look less sculpted and defined. So let's go ahead in with the eyes. I'm pretty excited about this. We're gonna do a green shimmery shadow, but first I'm gonna put a little bit of brown in the crease. I'm looking at a reference picture. Whenever you're doing a costume look, always have a reference picture right in front of you. And I'm gonna go with pukey. So in the outer corner, what I'm doing is I'm really kind of bringing it out to meet the tail of the brow. I don't know how crazy I am about this eyebrow shape. I'm gonna have to go back in and do some adjusting, I think. I'm gonna deepen that color a little bit, so I wanna change brushes. I'm gonna use another pointed, fluffy crease brush. And I'm gonna go in with this color, mm, Central Park. Very lightly trace along the socket. And then go back in with a little bit more pukey and blend those colors together. So what you're doing is just deepening this color without really changing the tone too much. Okay, now what we wanna do is take pukey and go up under the lower lash line very lightly. We're not, we're not really doing like a smoke, but I do wanna just add a little bit of de definition. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter glue now on just my lid, because I don't want this to transfer, I'm gonna be using a shimmer glittery color. I wanna give this something to hold on to so that it will not move around. With this round shader brush, I'm gonna grab this color Diva, and then I'm just gonna press it onto the lid, and it should just stick right to everywhere that I place that glitter glue. So here's where you can really see my hooded eye situation. So if I look straight at you, you can't really see the roundness of this lid anymore because this is covering it. So I'm going to try to fake it a little bit by bringing this color, and I have to do it by looking straight into a mirror, but I have to bring the color up a little bit further. I'm going to mix this gold color, Queen, with Obsessed, just to sort of tone down the gold a little bit so it's a little less yellow. And I'm going to place that in the inner corner. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush. I'm gonna grab this color 24 seven and stamp that right on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit more pukey and just bring it up a little higher. It's a much nicer shape. I really wanna bring up the green a little bit more, so I'm gonna just dip my finger in Queen and just press that on the inner portion of the eye might have got a little too much, so I'm just going to go right into Diva and fix that. So what I'm wanting to do is the gold is going to help keep it green because the undertones of this color can get blue really quickly. So the gold will help keep it green. Let's go on with blush. So her cheeks are like a very pretty pinky, corally color. I'm going to stick with this. That is coral, girl. Yes, ma'am. And her cheeks are very flushed, but I'm gonna be very careful to build it slowly so we don't ruin it. Staying right on the apples of the cheeks, almost like a doll. 
I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of the nose. If you notice, I contoured my nose to try to create a little bit more roundness in the tip today. Then I'm just gonna take my little beauty sponge and tap that in so that we don't have any crazy edges. She does have winged liner and lashes on. I'm gonna do that off camera because I'm just gonna, okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So I went ahead and touched up my eyebrows a little bit also, and I have on some bottom mascara, just a very light coat. I'm going to go into the inner corner with a black liquid liner and just make sure that it's very clean. I can't really tell from the photos if she has a bottom liner on, but I think what I'm gonna do is just use a bronze. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Overboard. It is a very nice metallic bronze color, and I'm just going to put that right in the lower waterline. I like it because it's not black, it's not blue, you know what I mean, but it's got that little bit of sheen. It's like a little surprise in there. Ooh, we are almost done. Now it's time for lips. This is really going to pull the look together. So Mrs. What's It is wearing some green lipstick. So I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the color. Siren's Jewel. I got a feeling this is probably too dark, but I got some tricks that we can lighten it up. Looks like a little mustache. <laughs> so now that the lips are on, I see that I could pump my blush up a little bit. So I'm going to do that. I'm just bringing back my old Morphe palette. Going back into the same color. Okay, well, it is definitely green. There's not really a lot of shine going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip my finger into Diva and tap it right in the center. That's it. That is the ticket. I think I'm gonna put maybe a little bit of gold too. Just just cuz it's gonna look nice, I promise. See? A little out of dimension. Yes. Okay. I think we are there. hanging out today and for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and you can follow me on all the socials. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! How green and yellow do my teeth look right now? <laughs> not straight. That is not straight. Okay, and then I'm gonna wanna... <laughs> la, 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 la. Cannot talk today. Ugh. Okay, this is going south very quickly. What color is this? What do I want to use? It's like a butt. <laughs> None of it looks good. I'm back. <laughs> I'm trying to make my nose look like Reese Witherspoon's nose. It is not the same. <laughs> not even a little bit.